What's up guys, welcome back to Nuke the Mall, the game day for the AI, the challenge where I'm developing real-time strategy game, an indie game, just myself with the help of AI and a few experts. So finally this day have come, we are ready to release our demo on Steam and I really struggled to find how to export games from Construct and how to put them on Steam. So in this video, I'll quickly show you what to do. This is not a comprehensive tutorial. This is more like a quick guide of what steps you need to do because it's a really a mess when it comes down to exporting and putting games on Steam. It's very, very complicated, convoluted and unnecessary difficult process in my opinion. But as you can see, the demo is here, it's ready. So don't waste your time, support me, go to Steam, search for Nuke Them All and play the demo. Well, if you don't have time to play, at least wishlist the game. This will really help a lot to collect wishlists. When, remember guys, when you are making an indie game, the more wishlists you have, the more success and more visibility you'll get from Steam on the launch. So collect as many as you can, at least 7,000 and I'm just at 600 right now. So all the support is really appreciated. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Very quick, first step, you go to construct, your game is well tested and ready to go. And it, before you do exporting on Steam, it's very important you do rigorous testing. You can go on, on websites like Fiverr and then search playtest and you, you'll get a lot of gigs who can test you for 5, 10 or 20 dollars they will test your game make sure you hire at least 20 people who will independently test your games report the bugs then fix them all then do another round personally i did four months of testing before releasing the demo with about six rounds of play testing so that's very important you don't want to release the unfinished demo and fail from the start so it's crucial to have well tested game Another service for testing that I highly recommend and I use myself is called GameTester.gg. This is extremely cool and very helpful testing service for your game. They'll find very professional testers who do it for a living and for small fee of about 100 or 200 dollars you can find at least 10 or 20 testers for your game and they will prepare professional report, all the stats, all the bugs, and they can even leave review for you on Steam, do streaming, a lot of cool stuff. Highly recommend this service as well for testing. Anyway, let's assume your game is fully ready, fully tested, so let's not waste more time. We go to in construct tree, we go to menu, we go uh, project, export, and then you choose uh, NWGS, this one. If you're releasing for Windows, um, Mac and Linux and then click next. Keep these uh, options without the change. Then uh, choose, for example, let's start just with Windows, Windows uh, 64 and keep these settings. Make sure to tick export for Steam and remove dev tools otherwise when people try to make screenshot on f12 they will get dev tools which looks kind of unprofessional then click next and it will create a zip archive uh, then go to your partners uh, steamgames.com dashboard and on the right side download latest sdk so download install sdk so then we go to Steamworks, SDK, SDK, Tools, Content Builder, Content, and here you put the zip that Construct prepared for you, then quickly unzip it here. Okay, once in unzipped, uh, double click to put an icon. Okay, icon is placed. Now you delete this file, we don't need it. Now another problem. Uh, with exporting from construct is uh, your game when you run it in task manager it will be shown as nwgs not nuke exe which is looks really unprofessional so you need to find a free tool called resource hacker 
you can find it online then you run it modify exe i'll quickly show you so you open your exe file all right quickly open it now we need to modify its information right here you see it shows wgs we need to put our game here so quickly just put it here all right now it has your own information from your game so in task manager it will look professional compile it then save it all right all done okay now you have two exe files just delete original we don't need it anymore all right we have modified one which is ready to go all is ready now we need to just upload this for steam so now just go to your steam pipe builder uploader that you downloaded from sdk if you didn't unzip it it's here in tools folder steam pipe gui zip Un unpack it run it then specify your app ID and the report ID will be given automatically to you. App ID you find in your Steam account where you created it. Then specify the path for the game. And then put your login and password. I don't show this obviously to you. It's below. And finally click upload and it will send you some guard code to your email and then it will upload the manifest inside your Steam account. So then when everything is uploaded, you'll see something like this. Everything is uploaded, everything ready to go. Ta-da! Then you go to App Admin again. Then you just fill all the information, the same as before. If you missed my video, I showed you what you need to fill in the past. Just check on my channel. I will not waste your time again here. Then you need to pass 3 to 4 days verification from Steam. They will check your app and everything is OK. Then you can hit release and it will be released on Steam. And it's very important. One problem that I encountered, you need to log in from other account, not from your developer account. To make sure to see the game, because if you go from your own account and you try to download this game here, it will give you nonsense errors like you have no internet connection or wrong app configuration and it's really frustrating i was thinking i'm doing something wrong obviously i have internet and my app is configured right but basically it doesn't work if you're locked as a developer it's just messed everything up so just go to other computer create another steam account and test from another steam account and that's all very quick just like that we release our first game and it means our challenge is over of course i will keep on developing i will keep on posting videos on uh, this channel so make sure to follow us and see another video that's coming about this game how i will progress the development but we still completed our challenge we proved that without programming skills just with the help of ai and few experts we can create a real real-time strategy game and i hope a fun one that people will enjoy that's all for today guys as always thank you all for watching love you all take care bye and wishlist the game thank you bye in a world where chaos is ruling everything there is no time for this Aliens approaching! We're getting crushed out here! Alright, alright! Time is of the essence! Requesting backup! We are losing it! Grab the territories, capture the flags, and eliminate their fort! Help! Taking heavy fire! Remember, flags mean victory. And finally, nuke them all! Mayday! Taking fire! Good job, Commander! That was hard. They are billion... I mean, like six! Right.
the Nuke Them All demo is now available on Steam, so grab it quickly. Let the games begin.